Hello everyone, welcome back to the Diamond Bunny YouTube channel. Now today we're going to be doing the first video of the Bunny Bible series that I've created. And this is the series essentially where I show you how to properly care for your bunny rabbit. Now as you may know, if you're a bunny owner, uh, actually taking care of your bunnies requires a lot of effort, a lot of time and a lot of patience. And in this video I would like to show you how to properly brush your bunnies. It is essential that you brush your bunnies, especially if they have a lot of fur, such as mine. My bunny rabbit breed, both of them are lion heads, meaning they have very thick fur, which they usually grow out through the winter and shed throughout the spring and summer. And so in this video, I would like to show you some tips and also the proper brushing techniques used when brushing your bunny rabbit. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is the brush itself. Now there are many brushes online which you can use and buy, but my favourite one is this one here from Small Pet Select. Do a very good brush and what I like about it, it is not too expensive, about 15 to 20 pounds, and it's very big so it can capture a lot of fur and untangle a lot of knots in the fur. And also the material which is made from is a very premium standard. So when I start brushing my bunny I always start from the top of the head and that is a very good place to start because it essentially gets rid of any knots towards the top of the head. Now when you want to brush you want to brush in the direction of where the fur grows so you never want to go the other way and this is done for several reasons. If you brush the other way your bunny will get a bit uncomfortable and may you know start moving around and that's not very helpful when you're brushing the bunny but at the same time you want to encourage good fur growth um, and that is why you want to brush in the direction the fur grows in especially if you have a very fluffy bunny like mine so once i've done the top of the head i then do the cheeks now the cheeks you want to do quite gently because that is essentially one of the most sensitive parts of the bunny rabbit and you want to do that on both sides then you're going to do the other cheek side area and again you want to be very gentle and you want to go in the direction that the fur is growing in because essentially again that's promoting fur growth but at the same time going gentle means your bunny will not get too distressed or annoyed. So once I finish both of the cheeks I then go to the side of the body here. Now obviously for my bunny rabbit because he's very fluffy uh, this area side here is where obviously most of the fur is. So you want to go in a bit deeper and have a bit of longer brush strokes and use all of that brush, you know, don't just use the tip of the brush, use all of your brush and go really deep into the fur. But again, be very nice and gentle in order so that you can get as much fur as possible while keeping your bunny nice and calm. So once you've brushed the right side, of the bunny you want to move on to the other side of the bunny so you want to get him into a nice comfortable position again and then start brushing his other cheek and then generally moving down the whole body area and brushing the behind area as well and this is a bit of a close-up look on how I brush kind of the back sides of my bunny rabbit as you can see we are already collecting a lot of fur, and that is to be expected with lion head bunnies or even angora uh, bunny rabbits because they do grow out their fur very thick throughout the winter months to keep warm. nicely and slowly but at the same time make sure that you collect as much of the outside fur as possible and your bunny rabbit will move a bit it is expected so just kind of go with the flow essentially go in the direction um, which your bunny wants you to go in again the most important thing while brushing is to make sure that you maintain your bunny nice and calm because if you do that generally as time goes by he'll get more used to the brushing process like mine has and he won't move as often. Now the final thing is obviously to do the back area of the bunny and sometimes 
you know, that may prove to be a challenge, he may move around a bit, but you can generally grasp it from the back like this. Again, go in the direction of the fur and make sure that your brush strokes are nice and deep into the fur. But again, be gentle because you don't want to essentially hurt the bunny or do anything else that may make the bunny uncomfortable. And then finally, really to round it off, what I do again is go back to the top. I do the head once again and do the top area of the bunny, which is the most easiest because that's where the least fur is on the top. And as you can see, generally, as time goes by and you brush the bunny, you will get much more fluffier and essentially that's promoting good fur growth. So as you can see, I have been brushing my bunny for a while now and his fur is much more in order and in place and it's not messy like it was at the start of the video. Now, people ask me, well, how many times should I brush my bunny rabbit? And again, it depends on the breed because I have a line head bunny, which is really fluffy, especially throughout the winter and grows a lot of fur. I brush regularly once every day or so, or once every two days. Um, and that is because I want to prevent any knots because what rabbits do, as you know, is they clean themselves a lot. And if they by accident ingest uh, those knots, it can cause a lot of digestion problems and may lead to them dying. So that's why I brush them very regularly to prevent any knots in the fur. But if you have rabbit breeds that, are, that do not grow or shed a lot of fur, then you may want to brush them maybe once or twice every three to four days. But again, it's up to you um, to when you brush the bunny, but make sure you brush the bunny regularly and make sure you brush very gently and make sure you brush the bunny in the direction of the fur that's growing.